Begin by connecting the crossover between your preamp and amplifiers. Although the crossover has XLR connections only, you can operate it either balanced or unbalanced. If you wish to use unbalanced RCA connectors, you can use XLR to RCA adapters on unbalanced interconnects or interconnects that have RCA connectors on one end and XLR connectors on the other end. The crossover will accept either analog or digital signals. Instructions for selecting the different inputs will be discussed later in these instructions. By default, the crossover is configured to accept analog inputs from a standard preamp. For analog operation, connect your interconnects as follows. Connect your left preamp output to input 1 on the crossover. Connect your preamp right output to input 2 on the crossover. Now we're going to connect the outputs on the crossover to the amplifiers driving your speakers. Connect output 1 on the crossover to the left channel of the amplifier driving your electrostatic speakers. Connect output 2 on the crossover to the right channel of the amplifier driving your electrostatic panels. Connect output 3 from the crossover to the left channel of the amplifier driving your bass. Connect output 4 on the crossover to the right channel of the amplifier driving your bass. Now plug in the crossover. It will turn on when you do as there is no switch used or needed. Wait about 30 seconds for the unit to initialize. For digital operation when not wanting to use a standard preamp, you simply will connect a single digital interconnect to input 1. The other end will go to your digital output source. Once again, plug in the crossover. It will turn on when you do, as there is no switch used or needed. Wait about 30 seconds for the unit to initialize. Changing between analog and digital inputs involves two separate adjustments. Start by pressing the Utility button and select XLR Input Format. Utility, XLR Input, select by pressing the knob inward once. I have a choice of analog or AES 1 and 2. Digital is AES 1 and 2, arrow down. Select it by pressing the knob. Once selected, you'll be presented with a choice of formats. Select the one you desire. If you are currently in analog mode and you want to change to digital mode, select AES 1 and 2. This will input digital bit streams into channels 4 and 5, so the system will operate the same as when you had a pair of analog interconnects plugged into channels 1 and 2. So let's arrow down to AES Actually, it's already highlighted, XLR1 format AES 1 and 2, press the knob to select it. AES 1 and 2, select. We're good. Switching from digital back to analog is done the same way, just select analog 1 to change to analog. 
When you're finished, press the back button three times to return to the main menu. The digital input has automatic sampling conversion. It will accept sampling rates between 32 kilohertz and 96 kilohertz. It will accept up to 24 bits. It operates on linear PCM bit streams like CD. It will not accept compressed formats like MP3. Once you have changed the format, you will need to connect those channels to the unit's inputs. To do so, press the config button. Turn the selector knob to highlight input 1, which is the right channel input. The correct input will be found just before the AEQ module. Select it by pressing the knob. So we're turning this knob first to find the input module. Right over here next to the AEQ module, we want input 1. Okay, we're on input 2, we go up to input 1, we select it. And we want that to be rooted down to root AES1, let's arrow down, select AES1. Then we return to this screen and we want to arrow down to the second input 2, select it by pushing the knob, and arrow down to AES2, root AES2, push the knob to select it. When you switch to digital inputs, you will see that they are on inputs 4 and 5. So you will see IN4 and IN5 on the display instead of the analogs inputs IN1 and in IN2. Press the back button. The configuration menu will then ask if you want to save or abort the changes you just made. Select Apply Changes so that your changes will become active. All right, right now highlighted as Abort Changes. If we arrow down, Apply Changes, select it by pressing the knob inward once. It's configuring. It says, please wait. When it has finished, press the back button to return to normal operation. When you are finished reconfiguring the unit, you will find that it has automatically muted all the inputs and outputs. Unmute them by pressing all the red lighted buttons. Finally, you will see that the store button is still lit. Press it three times to store it. Your loudspeaker management system is now properly programmed for digital input. You're ready to play.